よく見るがいいこれは視界ただの千本桜だ Alright guys we are back for yet another Bleach Brave Souls video and today we are going to be showcasing Max Transcended T20 Thousand Year Blower Byakuya shout outs to none other than myself because I actually got him 5-5 five five and I Max Transcended him why was there no summons video oh don't worry I, I plan to uh, get that up by Saturday so you guys will see if I used a rainbow move source or if I just got the fifth copy from the banner anyway uh, the more I play as him the more I've actually used him the more I feel like he's the best heart unit in the game like between him and Holobankai Toshiro and Trushi Kaichigo it's just no joke it really is no joke whatsoever now you can pretty much complain and say that he doesn't have double killers and you'd be right but value wise that's the only thing he's really missing but besides that this character it's the definition of perfect like i've had no problems with using this character with clearing content doing the most i can in terms of damage and i feel like he's number one best heart unit in the game I dare say that he's easily number one best heart unit in the game, and it's not even a joke. Like, they just did this guy way too much justice, and I'm just way too happy for it. Again, I'm just gonna express it. The Thousand Year Blower Tech Byakuya, the one that dropped back in 2017, that was my very first Thousand Year Blower character I've ever pulled, so that's pretty much why. Anywho, um, we have the setup already built up and ready to go. This is the best you're gonna see out of Byakuya from me since i have everything at my disposal with all the links max incented with 500 sp sp bonus ability and while we're at it since we're going to be showcasing the total damage we can do i'm going to swap the bonus abilities pretty damn frequently sp is going to be for getting all the damage out long stride will be for when we go into co-op content and then damage to uh paralyzed enemies is going to be for guild quests so with that being said Let's just go ahead and get into the Link Slot Trials or Link Slot Training Grounds just to see the best they can possibly do. Once again, we don't have killer, so we will not be able to take advantage of the increased element chance, but it still is going to be fine. The setup is pretty much exactly the same as before, but hold on, I'm going to do a little change real quick. There we go. That's a lot better. And uh, yeah, with us, we're going to be bringing this uh, Heart Drop Latoshiro because uh, he does provide 20% more Heart strong attack damage towards captains. So there's that. Also has the uh, team party increased heart attribute captain damage to status home and affected enemies of 20%. And yes, it does stock because otherwise I would not have gotten this crazy score that I did in Gale Quests, which you guys will see at the end of the video once we have taken him into every single quest. So yeah, Mugetsu Link. So more strong attack damage of 20% onto Byakuya. It will stack because it's a different name skill. Can say once again for the boost on the SA2. So that's the reason why. And uh, how much SP do we have on Byakuya? We're about to find out uh, once we get rid of all the filters. 7.8k SP. Marvelous. Just absolutely. Let's get into the quest. Alright, getting into it. We want to first nuke with the Soul Bomb to get the SP boost. Switch to Kensei and get the boost out. And let's see the damage unfold. Mm-hmm. Very damn nice. We're easily hitting the 150, 160Ks. Let's see the EX move. Not bad. Do keep in mind uh, that, unfortunately, the only ways you're going to make the EX move stronger is through full stamina damage boost. So, there's that. But besides all of that, yeah, Yaku is just amazing. He's a really damn exceptionally amazing character. Like, he just feels perfect. He just does. Like, really. It's just a shame he doesn't have the homing vortex, but I feel like he doesn't need it. I think it's good enough as is. And that's how I feel. So, yeah, there you guys go. Uh, okay. Now, I think the right thing to do would be to bring him into co-op content. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, here we are in Link Slot Trials once more. We're going to get into the solo run, and the setup is pretty much the same, but we did swap out 
SP for long stride just to make him speedy again. And if you guys want to know the total SP that we have on Byakuya, it's basically 7,260 SP in total, which is pretty good. It is a lot less SP, but bro, this is an easy quest. I don't think we need to worry about that way too much overall. So we're still going to be able to speed through this. We'll be able to tackle it on and be able to plow through the quest as fast as possible. We're more than likely going to get the same clear time overall. Like it isn't even mandatory to max and send this character. Okay, getting right into it. 960, full screen SA3. Some enemies are still alive, so we'll just back shot. Yes, pun intended. Boom. Man, I hate how these damn mobs are placed. It's so annoying. But there we go. Now, since this map is here, we can just nope. There we go. Overall, we're going through the quest as fast as possible, which is pretty good. All right, we'll have our SA3 ready soon. So there we go. We one shot the CERN Ritter. We kill everything in that direction. We'll just nab the soul bomb and we'll pretty much be officially done with the quest. And there we go. Everything is dead. We've cleared the quest and how many seconds? I think it's more so the same clear time. At the end of the day, this is a really easy type of co-op quest. We just need a bit more difficult content nowadays. That's pretty much it. 38 seconds. Was it faster compared to my 3-5 showcase? Hold on, I have to check real quick. Wait, no, I lessened the run by 10 seconds, so this was easily the fastest I've gotten out of co-op Link Saw Trials. So that's even better, okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's insane, man. This is insane. This is basically like as if it were co-op Inheritance Trials. <laughs> okay, let's jump on into Epic Raids and just completely clobber that to then follow up with guild quests. All right, guys, it is now time to use him in Epic Raids. And uh, I did swap the bonus ability to SP to get the best damage possible, but everything else, it's pretty much the same. You guys don't really need to see anything. We are still forced to bring the Renji Familiar because the damn boss has shields. Again, this is the only time he's a bonus, but I feel like even after being used as a bonus, he should be 100% fine to go. And yeah, let's go ahead and get right into him, into it. First things first. Nuke with the Soul Bomb, get the SP boost. Very nice. SA2. What? What? <laughs> no way. We bypass the shields. What? <laughs> Did we just bot? Mod? Bro, bro, nah, nah, nah. I have no fucking application up to mod. No, no, no. This is just Biakia Max and said it. This is just <laughs> what do you mean, bro? What do you mean, bro? <laughs> what? That's so stupid. Uh, oh, man. Sadly, uh, ranged human is no longer available, but guess what? I have the recording saved before it left, so go ahead and enjoy. Uh, spoiler alert, we cleared in 51.7 seconds remaining. And yeah, that was Byakuya. Amazing character. I do think that he's literally, in my opinion, the top three best character in the game. 
overall, like underneath uh, Kenpachi. And if I were to name the top five best characters in the game, like it's obviously Remy, Kenny, and then this guy. And then at number four and five, it would be someone of the likes of Holobankai Toshiro and uh, Oetsu in terms of how I think the current top five are. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. And hit the bell notification so that way you guys are up to date with my most recent videos. This has been your boy, The Death Smasher, and I hope to see you guys all in the next one. So take care, lads. Peace out. Bye. Sana. Ciao, ciao.